With Dreamweaver CS6, we've gained the ability to create HTML5-based web pages. And as part of HTML5, we now have the ability to include video objects on our web pages natively, without the need of external video players. Video support is now built into each HTML5 compliant web browser. Let's take a look at how easy it is now to insert video content into an HTML5-based web page inside of Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. Now beginning this video with the video page.html file already open on my computer. And this is a web page that's in progress, but I'm going to use this as a rough framework to show you how we can insert video to this location on this web page. Now if I click on the outside edge of this div that I've created, you can see that the div itself is where I'm going to put the video content. And we can see that if we look at the CSS properties, I've set it up so that the width is 480 pixels wide by 272 pixels tall. And that's essentially the size of my video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside of this main area and I'm going to switch over to code view for a second. Because here you can see that I've created this div that's going to hold my video. Now inserting video is quite easy. I'm just going to click inside of this div here. And HTML5 has a video tag. So I'm going to type an open bracket and start typing video. And Dreamweaver knows the tags that are available inside of HTML5 and automatically selects video as a choice. So I'm going to press return to choose the video tag. Now what I'm going to do is press the spacebar and I'm going to type SR and you'll see that it automatically chooses SRC for the source. So we'll press return and we'll press return one more time to browse for the video we want to use. I'm going to navigate and choose the MP4 file that I want to insert into this. And this is a H.264 encoded file that is HTML5 compatible. So I'm going to click open and you'll see that it inserts that video at that location. Now the video tag, I'm going to close that opening tag and then I'm going to create a closing tag. So type an open bracket, forward slash, and you'll see that it'll close that video tag. Now I'm going to switch back to design view and we'll see that it did in fact insert that video, but we need to define the width and height of the video as well. So let's go back to code view and in that opening tag, I'm just going to press a space after that attribute and we're going to create another value. We're going to type width. So again, we can use the code hinting here. Width is going to be 480 pixels wide. Then I'm going to type another attribute, which is going to be the height. And the height is going to be 272 pixels tall. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. So I'll go to File and choose Save. And what I'm going to do is switch to Design View. We can see that there is now, in fact, a video there. We can tell in our Tag Inspector that there is, in fact, a video there. And let's just preview this in Safari. And we can see that there is a video there, but we didn't include any controls in the video. And that's an attribute we can include inside of that video tag. So let's go ahead and switch back to Dreamweaver. I'm just going to close this window for now. And we'll go to the code view. And I'm going to put my cursor after the height attribute. And we're going to type one more. We're going to start typing control. So C-O-N-T. And as we scroll down here, we can see controls is one of the options. So I'm going to choose that. Let's save this one more time. And let's go ahead and preview this in Safari. And you can see we now have controls down here. And if we play the video, we can see that the video is playing as expected. We can pause this. We have volume control, so on and so forth. We can even go into full screen mode if we choose to. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and close this. And as any good web designer will do, let's go ahead and test this in Firefox. So I'll preview this in Firefox. Firefox opens, and I'll click on this, and nothing's really happening here because there is a little bit of a debate right now as far as which video codec to use to embed inside of HTML5 web pages. And Firefox chose to embed a different format, which is the AUG format. So what we're going to do, let's close this Firefox window and we're going to go back to our video tag here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that regardless of which browser we open, it's going to be able to choose the format that's compatible. So in the video tag, I'm going to delete this source information. I'm going to leave all the other components, 
but we're going to get rid of the source information. And what I'm going to do is between the opening and closing video tag, I'm going to press return a couple of times because we're going to go ahead and insert two different sources for this video tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an opening tag and I'm going to start typing source. Again, Dreamweaver knows what tag I want to use now. I'll press return to choose that. And then I'm going to type a space. Now we need to tell Dreamweaver where the file exists. So we'll use SRC to choose the file. I'll press return. Press return again to browse for it. And let's choose the MP4 file. Go ahead and choose open. And now we also want to choose the type that's going to be included. So I'm going to press the space bar and choose type. And then the value is going to be video forward slash MP4. That's the type of file that we're using. Now this source tag is a self-closing tag. So we'll type a forward slash and then a closing bracket. And that has now defined the H.264 codec file. Go ahead and press return. We're going to choose another source. So again, we're going to create another source tag. Type a space, SRC. And then we're going to browse to choose the OG file. Now this has a OGV extension. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. Click open. Then we're going to define this type. This type is going to be video as well but then a forward slash OGG for the AUG format. Now I'm just going to again type a forward slash to close this tag, then type a closing bracket, and now I'm going to go to the file menu and choose save. Now in design view, nothing has really changed, but let's preview this in Safari to make sure that that still works. Again, the video plays as expected. Let's go ahead and close that one, go back to Dreamweaver, and let's preview this web page in Firefox. This time when Firefox opens, we have the controls down here at the bottom. When we click the play button, the video now plays as expected inside of Firefox. As you can see with Dreamweaver CS6's support for HTML5, inserting video content into your web page is easier than ever.